I understand you're going to be talking to me about GMOs. I am. So what's going on with them? Are they safe to eat? Yes, they are. So um, GMOs, if we can start at the beginning, is an acronym for genetically modified organisms. And uh, it seems like we're talking about a thing, but we're really talking about a process of plant breeding. So getting new hybrids and varieties of plants. They're one of yeah. the most tested, regulated products that we have today. It takes about 13 years from idea inception all the way into a farmer's field for it to be approved. And the scientific community continually comes down on the side of safety of GMOs. Um, I'm a mom and the primary food decision maker for my family. I feel very comfortable in that process, that, that testing and regulation process, and, and I'm okay with um, buying that type of food for my family if it's there. So, so why do we need GMOs? Well, my family and I farm as well, and so GMOs serve as a tool in our tool belt. Uh, just one more way for us to be better, more efficient farmers, and also better stewards of our environment, our natural resources, our fields, our soil, and our water. That's our storefront, so to speak. And so it behooves us to do really well to take care for it, of it. So by having this other option, these other choices about the seeds that we can plant in our fields, it gives us a variety of ways that we can care for them and uh, protect the environment at the same time. Absolutely. You, you say that GMOs have an impact on our environment and in what ways? So from the perspective of our farm, we have been able to do more with less. So for example, some of these uh, genetically modified seeds already have a crop protection ability built into them. So the corn plant, let's say, can fight off a corn borer, an insect that would wreak havoc on it, that we would need to go in and spray with an insecticide to control that insect uh, pressure on our field. Now the plant can fight that battle itself. So we're reducing the amount of chemicals we're applying to our fields, um, which means we're also not in our fields as much. That means our fuel usage is going down. And then we see a better quality soil just because we're not in the fields as much and we're not disturbing that. There's better organic matter buildup there. The nutrients and minerals are staying put. And then even further on, we see better water quality just because we're not getting that soil runoff or any of that leaching of nutrients or minerals from the soil. So it's kind of like a pebble in a pond. The ripple effect just keeps going out and out. Absolutely. Um, could you please tell us about GMOAnswers.com and the role that you and other volunteer experts like you play? GMOAnswers.com is a great place to go for information about biotechnology and GMOs. It's got a lot of data, statistics, graphics, frequently asked questions, and it's powered by volunteer experts like myself. Um, there are food scientists, plant scientists, nutritionists, and dietitians that are all answering questions about biotechnology as it relates to their place in the food chain. I really appreciate you taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you for having me. Great, thank you. Bye-bye.